Hello, people of the internet, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. Now, you may be thinking that this isn't One Night at Flumpty's 2 on mobile, this isn't FNAF The Core Collection on Switch, and you would be right, I... We got news, okay? And I gotta talk about the news. So, since we are getting these reveals in like less than 24 hours, I don't think I need to pull up, pull up a spoiler warning. Um, so... Yeah, basically, if you don't know, for the past couple of days, we've all been wondering what we're going to get at the uh, Funko Fair 2021 when it comes to FNAF products, because FNAF was confirmed to have brand new products coming. And we were all thinking originally we're gonna get some Withered characters, we're gonna get some Security Breach Funko Pops, you know, something pretty big and exciting. Um, and then we got some leaks, which I was shocked to find out that many people thought were fake, even though they were literally leaked, like, last year. Honestly, there were so many goddamn comments, like, I couldn't reply to all of them. I thought about putting a pinned comment saying, these are legit, guys, you know, it's from an official source, and we've seen this before, but I was like, you know what, people can, you know, just wait until the fair. Uh, but it seems like we are getting an early look at them through, I don't know where these were posted, maybe on an official source. I just get all my news from Kane Carter at this point, because he does such an amazing job. So honestly, let's not waste any more time. Thank you, boys and girls and people of non-specified genders for clicking on this video. If you're new, subscribe, smash the like button, and let's hop into it. So I want to start off, uh, not with the figures, I want to start off with the plushies. And this is going to be something that I get called out for and people hate me for or something that people will agree with me on and love me forever and smash the like button and subscribe. So these are the plushies, they're called the Spring Colorway uh, FNAF plushies. Honestly, I'm just gonna call them pastel because let's be honest here, that's exactly what they are. Now, these are kind of the same as the black lights, let's be honest here. Um, but I actually legitimately really do like them. Yes, they legit just are the black lights, but and some of the Freddies do look a bit weird, especially that one in the bottom right hand corner, but I, I really do like the pastel look of them. I think having them be a lot lighter in color definitely, in my opinion, fits more than the straight up black lights. And I really don't think they look that bad, right? Their tags are very detailed too with the Easter, um, you know, Easter decorated tags. Now, because these are all Easter uh, and spring themed, I'm guessing they're gonna come out around that time, but I don't know for sure, so I'm not gonna say that outright. So yeah, plushies, let's move on to the action figures, which is kind of the reason why I really wanted to make this video tonight, was because I wanna share my thoughts on these dudes. And Chica, of course. I think these don't look that bad. I, I'll be honest, we just got this news, so I don't really know the opinion of the fan base on these action figures. I definitely do see people saying that they look bad, but in my personal opinion, especially Easter Bonnie, who we didn't even know was going to be making an appearance at this Funko Fair, he was not on the leaked um, products list, I think that guy looks amazing. Very, very accurate to what he looks like in, you know, FNAF AR Special Delivery. Chocolate Bonnie also looks very accurate, however, I definitely do think they made him just a tiny bit too dark. Like, comparing it to, you know, Chocolate Bonnie from FNAF AR, that Chocolate Bonnie skin in-game is, is, it's a lot brighter. Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing, I guess we just have dark Chocolate Bonnie as an action figure. I don't know. Again, I definitely, I don't think it looks bad. I just think it's a bit too dark. Now moving on to Chocolate Chica and Chocolate Freddy, which I think they're probably one of the reasons why people didn't believe the leak originally, just because these characters aren't in the game yet. However, I do think we will be getting them this year during Easter uh, springtime, because that just makes sense, right? If you have characters who we can see on the boxes or from FNAF or Special Delivery, if we have them in action figure form, why don't we have them in the game? So I do think they're gonna be coming. I really don't think they look that bad. I think they look a bit too similar uh, to each other, which I'm not that big a fan of. You know, they do have slight differences, like, you know, Freddy's teeth are different colors and Chica's beak are different colors, but they both have like that, you know, chocolate frosting aesthetic going on. It looks like Chica has some white chocolate feet which is different from Freddy. I just think they look a bit too similar for my liking. Interestingly enough, Freddy doesn't have a microphone. Not sure why. But yeah, really, I, I do like their designs. Again, a bit too similar to each other, but I definitely do think they suit the, um, the chocolate 
you know, Easter aesthetic well. I think people are just going to be upset at the designs initially just because we haven't seen them in game yet, so we haven't, like, we, we are used to Easter Bonnie and Chocolate Bonnie at this point because they've been in the game, you know, for almost a year now, but Chica and Freddy are brand new, we've never seen them in the game, so I'm guessing people might be a bit turned off by them. Um, but really, I, I don't think their designs are that bad. Again, I just think they're a bit too similar. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier in the video, we are getting these reveals tomorrow on the 21st, which for some of you, it might already be that time. Keep an eye out on Funko's Twitter, it seems like that's kind of where they're posting them, at least that's where I'm seeing them on. I'm sure they're also posting them to like their YouTube and their Instagram, um, but I'm just looking at their Twitter usually. I don't think there's like a time where they announce them, for me, you know, um, EST, it's it's usually kind of early on, like before noon, it seems like. So yeah, just keep an eye out. I won't make a video on them unless we get some more um, looks at different products. Again, I'm hoping for something a bit more, even though now that I'm seeing what we're getting, I'm, I'm pretty content. Again, I think the plushies, the pastel plushies look fantastic, in my opinion. I know some people are going to get upset because they literally are just the blacklight plushies, but I personally think they look amazing. And the action figures look on point. So again, I hope we get something just a little bit more extra because, you know, the security breach statues come out in like two months time, less than that now. So a better look at them would be nice. Though, um, I, I feel like this is probably all we'll get. I think if we get anything else, it might be a closer look at the statues, but I don't think we'll get anything else because it seems like, you know, we probably would have had everything leaked up at this point now because, you know, we've seen the product list and now we've seen the actual products. So I feel like uh, this is probably it. Which again, I know some people are gonna be upset about because half the stuff we're getting are just recolors. Um, but I really do like the statues. I mean, not the statues. I mean, I still like the statues, but I like the action figures. So that's kind of it. I know I said I was gonna do Flumpty 2 tonight, but this came up right as I was about to start recording that video. So that'll be tomorrow. And then Core Collection will finally be on um, whatever the, what, Friday? Friday. So that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.